everyone, I'm glad you're here. My name is Lynette. Spend the day with us as we are doing some things at home and then also out and about. I hope you enjoy it and also wanted to thank Thrive Market for sponsoring today's video. Do you want to say hi? Hi! Harper, what are you eating? Is it a cookie? Cookie. Cookie? <laughs> Say, how are you? How are ya? Good morning, everyone. I am keeping an eye on my scones in the oven. I made some blueberry white chocolate scones. They seemed pretty crumbly to me. I, I even added more stuff to it than I thought I should, like the cream. So we'll see. I just kind of felt like it this morning. This is a Wednesday. I've kind of been without my car since we got back on vacation on Sunday. Kind of a long story, but yeah, anyway. Erica accidentally took my keys in her purse with her while she was down here babysitting our kids. Nick and I went to Dominican Republic with some friends. It was amazing. Anyway, she accidentally left the key fob in her purse and took it up to Ohio with her. And then meanwhile, my brother Grant traveled to South Carolina with her then because that's where she lives. And he came on down here to Florida again and brought the keys. I got those, I think, night before last. But in the meantime, when we got home on Sunday at, to our friend's house, Nick had left his truck there during the week. It was parked under a tree. He started it up and gas just like poured out of the bottom of the truck. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't know what in the world happened. We thought, well, maybe there was like a gas line like loose or something. We managed to get it to a repair shop and they looked at it on Monday. And apparently a rodent, probably a squirrel, chewed through multiple areas of the gas line. Did you ever? Like, mm. anyway. <laughs> So that was Monday, Sunday, Monday. Now it's Wednesday and they had to order a part to fix it and supposedly it's gonna be done this morning, but uh, we had to borrow a vehicle for a little while. And yesterday we only had my car and Nick was running around doing all kinds of stuff. So I've kind of been at home the last couple days and I mean, it's good and all, but I am kind of itching to go do something. But I, I thought for a little while we might go shopping a little with my mom and my grandma and grandpa possibly but i don't think it's going to work out today for them so we may do it tomorrow i may go to mission thrift or something with the girls depending i don't know i'm still trying to get them dressed and their hair combed and everything but i thought i would show you this sweater that i came home with last night from walmart they have this color sprinkled throughout quite a bit uh they had some dresses i tried on i didn't bring any of them home but I did come home with this one. Not gonna lie, it's different for me. <laughs> but I was kind of feeling this violet color. So let me know if you're getting back into colors or if neutrals are your thing or darks or whatever. But anyway, I, I did come home with this. It's a very lightweight. This one was around $16. I also picked up this lavender dress from Amazon before we went on vacation and I wore it. So I'm kind of enjoying some of the like purple family, I guess. This one's really pretty. vehicle update from Nick. He said the part apparently did not come in this morning like they said it would. So it's gonna go till tomorrow. So I am just, I guess, stuck here for most of the day. I He could bring an e-bike home from where he's at, but it doesn't really make sense to do that. So yeah, I am just gonna be hanging out here, I think for the most part today. It's lunchtime, so I'm letting the girls play outside been kind of chilly um, but it's very sunny which is great so we're gonna do a little bit of swinging we hung Oakland swing temporarily uh, we need we have a longer strap it should be a little lower to the ground we had put it up in the meantime so we just usually keep our eye on them 
So we want to lower it, move it a little bit, but the girls love swinging. So that, and then Oakland has her scooter and stuff. So we're probably just going to hang out a little bit until it's nap time. most of my Thrive order here that I want to show you then. But I love Thrive Market and what they offer. Uh, it is a membership-based online grocery service, if you will. They offer month-to-month -month memberships if you'd rather do that. I think it's around $12 a month or you have the annual one, which I believe is $59. Definitely your better option would be to do the annual membership. So if you're thinking, oh, that's kind of a lot of money, what they guarantee basically is that you will save that much when you're ordering things and they offer so many like organic options. Uh, they have things for, you know, paleo, gluten-free, all of those. And I just, for instance, on my order that I ordered, I think my savings were around $67. Uh, they have like certain sale options. They also uh, say that if you find a lower price somewhere else, they will price match it, which is amazing. They just offer so many like, different types of things that maybe can be hard to find in just your normal grocery stores. For instance, I have this organic unbleached flour here. One is bread flour, one's all purpose. And I like the King Arthur brand the best. And I usually, you know, will buy the unbleached bread flour all purpose, but you can't always find it everywhere. And this one is even organic and it's a very good price. They also have cleaning products available. I have like three packs of their rosy do anything recycled microfiber cloths. So they're just very highly absorbent. I've already tried them. Uh, they're really soft. I also grabbed a pack of the E cloths, the window cleaning cloths. Uh, let me see. So their cleaners. Another thing I decided to try is the rosy brand. It's the floor cleaner. Kids love the Hello brand of toothpaste. I have some of the Thrive uh, peanut butter and I have some avocado oil I've got a pack of these rip van waffles here if you place an order you sign up for a membership you can get 30% off of your first order with my discount code Lynette Yoder I will have a link and everything should come up automatically for you in the description box so thrivemarket.com slash Lynette Yoder for 30% off and they also will give you a gift valued up to $60. Um, today, the thing that I chose, I think they had a couple options, but I just got this one. It's the Quantum Energy Square Peanut Butter Dark, Dark Chocolate. I really was impressed because I found this Redmond Salt and this is an unrefined mineral salt. It's mine in America and has amazing taste. I've heard people just like brag about this Redmond Salt. So I am, Excited to try that. Let's see, I also like getting Mary Ruth's and I saw they had them on here. I go through a lot of maple syrup, so I got the organic amber maple syrup. And I also grabbed a box of the Z-Bars, the kids Z-Bars. I love getting these for the kids. Another thing you can see here on the box, it says every annual membership sponsors a free membership for a family in need, which is really, really cool. So. If I haven't convinced you yet, uh, maybe go check out their website and see for yourself what they offer. They have so many different products and I really think it's just a, a great option for you, especially if you're you know, looking for healthier options. So make sure you check out the description box and I wanna thank Thrive for partnering today.
I'm gonna make some granola. I switch back and forth with granola recipes. Uh, this time I think I'm gonna use the one from Hope's Table. I have made this one many times and I love this cookbook. I make a lot of her recipes, just made one the other night. Uh, it is worth your dollars. If you're looking for some, this is fairly traditional, like Mennonite style cooking. The same, they're very basic recipes, not a lot of fancy ingredients. She's just got a plethora of wonderful recipes in here. Anyway, I'm gonna make her granola recipe. I will have the cookbook linked in the description box. I got a little wooden spoon in the DR when I was down there just for a little souvenir. I like, you know, unique spoons and such. Thought it was really cute. I didn't really talk about our trip to DR, but it was just absolutely amazing. I feel like I didn't realize how much Nick and I needed this. Um, we've never like left the kids for longer than, you know, a couple days or a long weekend or whatever, both of us at the same time. And so this trip had been planned like a year already. Last January we had planned it and there's a group of six couples and it was so much fun. It was a true break. I really, really needed it. I felt like the last like month had just been completely crazy, chaotic, uh, trying to get that house furnished and we'd come through the holidays, lots of people around, and this was just, it was so good. Just being with friends a lot, we laughed, we talked, yet we still had a lot of quality time, just Nick and I as well, and it was just so beneficial for our marriage. And I, it made me realize like how important it is to make time for your marriage. Like I know that, but it's, sometimes it's really hard to do. In certain seasons of life, it's not, it's not possible to do like what we did. Uh, like I said, like Caden's 10, we've never done this before. We've done overnight stays and things like that, but not on like a whole like week type of thing. We were there for five days, but with travel and everything it took longer, but just being uninterrupted, not really working. Nick had a little bit of work he needed to do while he was there, but like I just, I relaxed and it was just wonderful, honestly. And we're so grateful for my sister who came down from South Carolina to uh, watch the kids and also my parents helped. Uh, they did quite a bit of running back and forth and they stayed over the weekend then when Erica left and it was just, it takes a village I guess and we're so grateful it was, it was possible and I know it looks different for every season of life but even just, you know, a date night here and there or Maybe an overnight stay if you can manage it. Some seasons of life, it's not possible to do that even. And it's okay. It's not like you can't make your marriage wonderful, but it's so easy to get caught up in the mundane and the daily and just all of that. I just feel like I wanted to somehow transport that back home now and just be more appreciative of Nick and all he does and just something that I can vastly improve on in just, you know, the everyday uh, life. And I just, I feel like the trip was just such a refreshing uh, getaway and it was just much needed. <laughs> I'm just so thankful for it. You wouldn't see me as wearing purple. No, I, should, I wouldn't see you wearing purple. Why? Because it just looks weird. <laughs> they don't like my sweater. <laughs> I don't said that. You didn't say that? I said that I wouldn't see you wearing purple. It's different, I know. <laughs> I gotta say, honey, it's a different look on you. Looks nice. Come on, you like it. It's nice.
28. <laughs> Actual good makers. Oh! This one. Gooey. We'll still get it. Here. Oh. Yeah, we try. We are headed up to UTC. It's 9.30 and I've got the girls. So I'm getting out of the house. <laughs> Nick is going to use uh, an e-bike to go get his truck here in a little bit, hopefully, once it's done. But it's a beautiful sunny day. It's still in the 50s, so it's, you know, a little, a little chilly. But we're going to go do a little bit of shopping. We're going to meet my mom and my grandparents, actually. This is kind of rare. It doesn't really happen much. My grandma's never been in Trader Joe's, so first time. Good. 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 <laughs> nummy, nummy. Nummy. For my tummy. Nummy. <laughs> so Nick discovered that he loves linen. He got some linen pants and some shorts for DR, and he is a big fan. And I like it too. It's just you know. You can't always just find it everywhere, but TJ Maxx, Marshalls, and places like that. Also, thrift stores are good places to find it. Wow, I like it. <laughs> All right, we split from the others. The girls were getting a little antsy or getting a little hungry. I think they're gonna go to the mall maybe and walk around, but they didn't really necessarily want lunch, and I actually wanna eat like lunch or something. I forgot, I didn't really eat breakfast, so. I had a little stroop waffle type of thing this morning, but yeah. But went through the car wash and now I'm headed down to meet Nick and I'm guessing we'll grab some lunch. I just discovered Nick does not have his truck yet because he has the e-bike here. He's actually going to be helping manage a e-bike. It's the e-bikes of Holmes County, it's called. So they're starting a branch down here in a, like bike rentals. And so he's been helping set that up the last couple days. So I see it sitting here. If you want to, okay, put it in there. So I ended up just putting the greens in this vase. I had found this at Home HomeSense here the other week and I snatched it up because it looks like an anthropology dupe. And it was only like $16, I think. They gave me a little discount because there's like a chip out here, but oh, such a gorgeous vase. I just put a glass inside with some water. That way it doesn't like ruin the pot itself. And then I have another one with my roses so I can put this one somewhere else. Okay, I'm making some grilled cheese for the kids. It's around five, we actually have to go back up to UTC because there's a rug I need to return and I needed Nick's truck and he finally got it back tonight. So he has a business meeting he needs to go to tonight up there anyway. So we're both gonna go up there and I'm gonna return the rug and then come back home with the kids. And I don't think we're gonna have too much on the agenda tonight, but yeah, I'm keeping dinner very, very simple because I failed to even get meat out this morning or anything. Cause I didn't think I'd be gone all day, but I ended up being gone all day due to some other things that we were doing. So yeah, I'm gonna try and get these done and then we can head out the door again. So the boys need baseball gear and they convinced me to come in here. In football gloves.
Okay, I'm going to close out the vlog here. Make sure you go check out Thrive Market in the description box. Use my discount code Lynette Yoder for 30% off of your first order and take advantage of that. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. I will see you all next time. Bye.